Use the trapezium rule with five ordinates to find an approximate value for the integral between 1 and 3 of x over 1 plus root x. Show you're working and give your answer correct to three decimal places. So here's the problem then. So we need to cut paste in um, the trapezium rule formula. So I've got it here. So let's have a go then. So here's the formula. It says with five ordinates, doesn't it? So n will be 4. So we can put n as 4. So let's just put that down here. So y n is y4. And this is y1, y2, and this would be y3, wouldn't it? So let's get rid of that. And simply write y3. And now we can also work out h. h is b minus a, 3 minus 1, over n. So 3 minus 1 is 2, n is 4, so h is a half, and the first part is h over 2, so a half over 2 is a quarter. So let's put that in at the outset then, it's 1 over 4. Now we need to work out the ordinates, the y ordinates, so we need x0, x1, x2, x3 and x4. We start from 1, we finish at 3, we go up in distances of a half, don't we? So this is 1.5, 2.0, 2 2.5, and 3. So there's our x ordinates then. And here's our y ordinates. So we need to tap them in the calculator. So when x is 1, it's 1 over 1 plus root 1. 1 plus 1. 1 over 1 plus root 1 which is a half. Then the next one is, so we'll tap the next one in a calculator. So it's 1.5 divided by bracket 1 plus the square root of 1.5. Come outside of the square root and close the bracket. So that's what we've got then. Um, so because the answer is to 3dp, we can work, write this down to 5. 6, 7, 4, 2, 3. 67423, not point. And then y2. So let's get that. So instead of 1.5, we now put in 2. Here and the other x value. Here. 2. And we get 0 0.82842, 0 0.82842. And then y3, we put 2.5 in, instead of 2, here and the other place at the front, 0.5 equals 96856, 96856. Then y4 would be when x is 3. So again, we need to put it in here. Put in 3. And over here, put in 3. And then we get 1.09807. 1.09807. So there's our values then, we need to tap them in the calculator. So let's do that then, so this is equal to then. And we'll just tap it in directly into the calculator then. So it's 0.25 y0 plus y4, so these two, plus two times the three values in between added together. Okay, so let's get our calculator then. It's 0.25 then, times brackets, the first and the last, so it's, so add 0 0.5 to this is 1.5, 1.5, 9807. Uh, that was that one and that one, plus two times, brackets, and these three added together, 0 0.67423, plus 0.82842 plus 0.96856, 9656. Close that bracket 
and then close the bracket for the expression. And then we must have done something wrong here. So what have we done wrong here? So 0 0.25 times this plus two times bracket. These three numbers added together. Doesn't look anything out of place here. Let's just go back then. There might be something before the 0 0.25 that I may have not put in. No, it's fine. So everything looks fine there, doesn't it? Ah, I've got a decimal point here. 1.598... Um, 1.598.07. So delete and put an O. There we are. Should press equals now. And it's to 3DP. It's 1.635. And we would show our working, so we would write this in place, wouldn't we? The numbers in the places that we, we have there. We get the answer 1.635 to three decimal places.